Hello old friend, it's been a while. Fancy taking me over there to the Malvern Hills. All right, so hello, I am back on the road. I've uh, had to bring my van back up to Hereford where I bought it for its service in MOT. I can't really believe it's been a year since I had the van, but I had planned all along that I would do a road ride. When I bought the van back up, I'd drop it off, I'd go for a ride and then pick it up when it was done. But the original plan was to go west into the Brecon Beacons, tick off five official climbs, but I don't think I've quite got the fitness for that. So I've come up with an alternative plan to head over to the Malvern Hills, about 70K. I've got till five o'clock this afternoon. So I've got plenty of time to enjoy a road ride uh, without rushing around for a change and make the most of this sunshine. Wouldn't actually forecast when I looked this morning. <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, a bit of rain and heavy showers. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. But yeah, great to be back on the road. It's been a while. Well, that's a plus. I've survived the first climb. <laughs> oh, my lungs. Oh, I spoke too soon. We're not done yet. I don't know why you left. I don't know why. No why. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Goodbye. I know it's been a year, but sometimes I still shed a tear thinking of you. What can I say? These feelings won't go away. Time keeps passing by. <laughs> now I've survived the first climb, and uh, I think I made a very wise decision. Because originally, when uh, I knew I was going to bring my van back to service, I planned a route into the Black Mountains, 106k with 1500 metres of climbing, with five official climbs, including Black Darren. Uh, but I looked at the 1500 metres, I thought that'd be 2000 metres, that's way too much for me. Well, I've dropped the van off at half 10, I can't pick it up till 5, so I've got quite a few hours to kill, but I think my fitness is only up for these 70 kilometers that I've planned over to the Malvern Hills to take in the official climb of Walwyn Road. Uh, but yeah, beautiful start so far. Glad to be back on the bike when I didn't really have the motivation yesterday when I knew I had to drive up here and get everything ready. But once you're out, getting out the door, that's my problem, getting out the door. Especially over there. <laughs> yeah. So, so far so good. Two beautiful climbs. Uh, lovely views at the tops. And uh, we're just coming down the other side. And I got a view of the Malvern Hills. So I'm heading over to Ledbury, which is where Walwyn Road is, the official climb. And then uh, we're going through the Malverns, coming down the other side, and uh, on our way back to Hereford. Okay, so not quite back on the road. <laughs> this is marked as a bike path on the uh, on Commute as the um, Lebby Town Trail or something. Yeah, <laughs> uh, not for road bikes.
Yeah, this was to avoid all the traffic in the town centre of Ledbury, and it just sort of skirted through. So I thought, oh, I'd do that, no problem. <laughs> yeah, what would a bike road be without a little route mishap? So now on the foot of the climb, Baldwin Road, out of Colwell Stone, and I'm going to be looking for snipers because the last time I did an official climb, I said this. If you see me on one more official climb, you have my permission to shoot me, Alastair Redgrave. So not only have I got a climb to contend with, <laughs> got to protect my life. Do you reckon that sign is warning for snipers? <laughs> Well, that was a beautiful climb. Not too bad either. I fared a lot better than that Volkswagen Polo, which I think is now going to go to the garage for a new clutch. But I didn't stall. <laughs> yeah, just a bit slow going. I'm not breaking any records at the moment. I've had a stop for some refreshments. I'm now on the last climb of the day. Had a lovely descent out of Melbourne. Uh, dodging the pheasants and the squirrels. Yeah, this apparently is my last climb of the day. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> right well that was good timing could because i didn't have an end into the video because it started to rain and i pelted it back and i could see the rain all around me luckily i think i just missed the worst of it but the roads were absolutely plastered in mud and the bike got covered and my legs got covered and i was a bit of a state at the end and i managed to avoid the rain and get back to where my van was being serviced at volkswagen in hereford and uh four hours to get home because of uh, an accident on the Avermouth Bridge. Yeah, so I didn't get to see you too late, did I, buddy? No. But what a great ride that is. The Malvins, I definitely recommend that. Um, and there's a lot of mountain bike in there as well, so I might have to go back there with a the mountain bike. But it's nice to be back on the road. Really enjoyed it. I hope you like the video. Um, do you like the video? Not bothered. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Say bye, Coops. <laughs>